All right. So I'm doing something different. No guests tonight. Just going to be me and some, some hopefully bite-worthy food. I'm in Alabama seeing a comic that I love. He's one of my favorite comics. I'm here to see Sean Patton. Um, but I'm, I'm having a, a, I guess, an Alabama staple, Jack's. Everybody said you're supposed to, you're supposed to eat Jack's. Try Jack's, try Milo's. I'm not gonna, I don't have, I'm not here for very long. Just tend to see a show, pop in, see a comic, get out. But I figured I would actually talk about one of my favorite bite-worthy comedians myself. No interview, just some food. And I'm gonna give this an honest review. Um, that's pretty much it. This is, if there's any suggestions that you guys wanna see, tell me. And I just wanted to talk about the point of this whole channel is to promote local comedians and eventually, okay, eventually interview comedians that are not local just to Atlanta. Um, the Sean Pattons, the Tom Seguras, you know, the David Spades, the God, God willing, you know, other people. The Josh Wolfs, the people that I've, I've seen and that I love. Um, that's my goal. I know it's lofty, but Joel Byers is a great example of accomplishing that, grinding it out. These mashed potatoes and gravy are really good, by the way. So, bite worthy so far. Um, he's, he's a great example of how to do a, an inter interview properly. Uh, I have no formal training. I didn't go to college for, I didn't go to interview school or anything like that, but I do know how to ask a question, pay attention, and I guess keep it interesting. Um, what do you guys think? Tell me what you have for me in terms of suggestions. Um, really good so far, by the way, Jax. I don't know what you're doing here in Alabama, but it's a lot better than Georgia. Okay. Okay. Um... I think um, if I were to talk about Sean, uh, the reason I'm here to see him is he's one of my favorite comics. He's so funny, he's eloquent, but he, uh, he has a lot of bite-worthy material. Little one-liners, very, I'll say, mythical, but he's, he, he tells a story and a really good one at that, so. Um, the Cuman story is probably my most, like, envied bit. I wish I had a story that's that funny. It's layered. It's full of silly humor, deep humor. It's full of timing. It's got, it's got spices, masturbation, and a UPS guy, and it's super funny. Um, another one of his jokes is when he um, talks about a scuttlebutt, the name of his, one of his albums. So, Sean Patton is a, a bite-worthy comedian for many ways. He can string along a sentence and keep you engaged and enthralled. There's a lot of comics that don't have that. A lot of comics that they present their material and it's funny, but they don't don't grab you and keep you in. Rodney Perry was one that I watched. I watched a show of his, and it was at the Punchline. He closed the show, and it was the Keenan Thompson experience. And I have never heard. I, I've never heard a room so quiet. Never. It was so quiet when he's telling his story. Everybody was hanging on every word. And at the end, he just delivered a punchline, and that went. That place went from silent to upheaval, and it was. It's a 
definitely a, a master class in how to bring someone in. So those are some bite worthy um, moments from from what I've seen of, of a couple comedians. Um, Sean Patton has, he's a wordsmith. He's funny. He could be as mature as the hills and as immature as, you know, a 10th grade boy. So, um, yeah, and then I wanna ask uh, of you, the audience, what do you wanna see? Is there anything that we can add to this show? Anything that we can do differently? Is it too long? Is it too short? I'm asking for help and feedback. I'm not a professional. Um, I'm just a short guy with a phone and um, some friends in comedy. And I have enough money to take them out every so often and get an interview and I pay attention. That's all this is. You know, talking smack, chewing the fat, whatever you know, phrase you want to use, but um, I appreciate every person who even tunes in, uh, watches this. Uh, it, it, I got a couple comments and it makes me really happy that this is a thing. So we're starting small, uh, but that's pretty much all I have. I'm going to take a bite of this fried chicken and Tell you what I think. It's better than KFC. So, Kentucky, you don't got, you don't have shit on Alabama. So, Jax, if you're you're the Chris Rock and Jax is the Will Smith, it it just kind of knocks you around. So, uh, step up your game. Um, that's all. I appreciate it. Um, thank you guys.